From the moment of its announcement to the release of its final wave, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass has been divisive. The selection of which courses were included, subpar visuals, unnecessary changes to fan favorites, the abundance of Mario Kart Tour tracks, even the music? It seems like every aspect of the DLC is contentious to some degree. And as divided as the fanbase is on whether this was an incredible send-off to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and celebration of the entire Mario Kart series, or a low-effort, disingenuous cash grab that banks on nostalgia over quality, Quality, it's remarkable that nearly everyone can come together and agree on one thing. Everyone hates Toad Circuit. If you couldn't tell from the title, I'm a big fan of Toad Circuit despite its general perception. Now, you might think this is a joke, or an act of just defying the common opinion, in order to draw attention to how I'm not like other girls. But I assure you that even if you start to enjoy something ironically, it doesn't take long for that irony to become genuine. Toad Circuit is one of my favorite Mario Kart tracks, and in this video, I'm going to explain why I think it deserves way more credit than it gets, both in its original game and as part of the BCP. And who knows, maybe you'll even come to appreciate this humble course a bit more too. But real quick, if you like Mario Kart content and want to see me make more, be sure to like and subscribe, it really helps me out a ton. Toad Circuit first appears in Mario Kart 7, as the first course of the Mushroom Cup, likely being the first course a lot of players experience in this game. As such, Toad Circuit has a much more important role than most of the tracks in the game. It not only needs to serve as an introduction to Mario Kart for beginners, it also needs to be rewarding for veterans and set up what makes Mario Kart 7 special. This might seem like a tall order for such a small man, but if his previous namesakes have taught us anything, we should just sit back and let the little dude cook. Toad Circuit begins with a simple straightaway leading to a line of item boxes. This is a really great way to show just how fundamental items are to Mario Kart's gameplay. And with how the boxes are spaced out, you're pretty much guaranteed to get one before you even need to touch the steering wheel. Even if you miss a box, the ensuing chaos prompted from the other racers and your own defenselessness should be enough to get the point across. To a lesser extent, starting with such a basic path and having all racers so densely packed together helps inform some of the game's more advanced mechanics, like slipstreaming, weight, acceleration, and top speed. It might be short and simple, but it really can inform how differently certain character and cart combinations perform which is especially important in the game that introduced full kart customization. Following the start, we encounter the first turn in Mario Kart 7. It's a long right turn, and you're given ample space to learn how to navigate it. For the total newbies, you could take a wide turn along the outside without worrying about off-roading, though you'll definitely notice this is far from the optimal way to take this turn, especially with the coins guiding you towards the tighter end. On the next lap, you might try drifting, which can be tricky at first, but the track width makes it super forgiving to practice and learn. Of course, the more experienced Drift Master can easily cling to the inside for a long, satisfying drift that'll launch them well ahead of the competition. If you've played this series as long as I have, it's easy to forget that every Mario Kart game has the potential to be someone's first, so you don't really notice that a basic sterile track like Toad Circuit is able to teach every major mechanic Mario Kart has to offer in the first third of the track. Next, you reach another straightaway, this one being directly underneath the first part of the course. This sets up Mario Kart 7's greatest new addition to the series. The driver should notice this weird metal plating on the road that clashes with the rest of the track, as well as the coins suspended in the air out of the player's reach. Come lap 2, the plate has extended into a glider ramp, giving drivers the choice to go over the bridge instead of under it. This dynamic course change and bright, enticing ramp effortlessly lures the driver into giving it a try teaching the player the wonders of Mario Kart 7's glide mechanic, while picking up some coins to boot. 
And of course, the dash panels underneath the bridge serve their own purpose, not letting racers who unfortunately miss the glide ramp fall too far behind, though by already experiencing this boost on the first lap, it just makes the speed and distance granted from gliding feel even more exciting. The last part of the track is made up of three small turns, the first one taking place under a tunnel, then completely changing directions as you exit which teaches the importance of being prepared for sudden changes by checking the minimap. You can also catch a glimpse of a ramp just off-road to the right of this turn, requiring a mushroom to successfully take. This also helps stimulate the player's creative problem solving, because if the game is showing you that you can skip a turn with a mushroom, what other turns could be shortened with a mushroom? The course's final turn parallels its first, a wide turn that encourages players to stick to the inside, although this time they tempt you into taking the wider, slower path with a line of delicious coins. Should I just stick to the inside and grasp victory? Or will these coins be just enough to push me over the unlock requirements for the illustrious Zucchini? These split-second decisions are what makes Mario Kart so fiercely competitive, so it's great to see that reflected in Mario Kart 7's very first track. Toad Circuit is one of, if not the best introductory course in the Mario Kart series. It teaches the player everything they need to know on how to succeed in a race, down from the very basics, to the more nuanced tricks, to the new techniques that make Mario Kart 7. On the surface, Toad Circuit is a cute, simple track, with a lovely understated Mushroom Kingdom aesthetic and cool giant toad balloons. Toad Circuit may just be the first track of Mario Kart 7, but that's an honor it holds with utter perfection. What it lacks in spectacle, it makes up for in efficiency. Toad Circuit is a fantastic course. At least, in its debut game. Toad Circuit made a reappearance in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as part of Wave 1 of the Booster Course Pass, and nobody liked that. Except for this guy. I was a Toad Circuit stand since day one. Ah, Toad Circuit, my old stomping grounds. And putting my own affinity for the course aside, I think it plays a solid and understandable role in the booster course pass. Instead of looking at the booster course pass as a collection of individual tracks, I want to look at them the same way they were released, as 12 different cups. Cups in Mario Kart are very methodically designed, built around scaling the intensity as you progress, and ramping up the spectacle in its final track. This certainly applies to the latter tracks of the Golden Dash Cup, with Choco Mountain being a fair bit trickier than the previous two tracks, and Coconut Mall being one of the most beloved courses in the entire series. As for the first two tracks, well, it gets a little weird. Because Toad Circuit is positioned after Paris Promenade. As someone who didn't play Mario Kart Tour when the BCP dropped, which I imagine applies to a lot of you watching as well, Paris Promenade was a real jolt to my traditional old soul. The routes change every lap, paths you take the first lap are suddenly blocked off, the minimap looks less like a course map and more like an actual map of France. Now, it makes sense to lead the cup with a course most Mario Kart fans are unfamiliar with, giving them a taste of what they missed out on, but even as a Mario Kart veteran, this track was jarring on my first playthrough, which is why I think it's perfect that one of the most unorthodox Mario Kart tracks that leads off the entire booster course pass is followed by one of the simplest. Toad Circuit is a palate cleanser, a cultural reset, a return to familiarity, an old, inviting, reliable friend, just like its namesake. For that reason, I think Toad Circuit's inclusion is not only justified, but it fills a really nice role in the booster course pass that very few other courses could fill, and even fewer could perform as well as Toad Circuit. It's understandable why so many people dislike or simply didn't care about Toad Circuit until it allegedly stole the spotlight from other, more deserving tracks. And with that said, I hope I was able to explain why Toad Circuit is a perfect starting course in Mario Kart 7, and a great addition to usher in the booster course pass. And hey, whether or not I was able to change your mind, I really appreciate you hearing me out and watching until the end. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you want me to cover any other Mario Kart games. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.